Ever heard of universal health coverage? It's a big buzzword in global policy circles. Sounds promising. Or is it? In many countries of the global south, it's implemented through publicly funded health insurance for people to purchase a limited set of services. Too often, it's private health care providers that benefit most. They tend to use public money to promote high-cost procedures, draining human resources from public facilities, and developing infrastructure only where profitable. But health is a human right, and public funds should go towards equitable public health care. An emphasis on insurance-based coverage skews public health priorities and pulls us further away from health for all. That's what's happening in India, where the government is using a health insurance model first implemented in the state of Andhra Pradesh. One study shows the scheme for hospital-based care has used 25% of the state's health budget to address only 2% of the burden of disease, excluding common conditions such as TB and diabetes. And because private facilities have received over 75% of total payments, it's weakened the public system and starved primary care. Is that the way towards universal health? We think not. There's no denying that public health services in India suffer from access and quality gaps. But the public system only gets 20% of the national health budget. And despite such underfunding, it provides 30% of hospital care and virtually all preventive care in the country. There are public alternatives to build upon. The National Rural Health Mission, for example, has improved public health facilities and deployed more health workers in rural areas. Tamil Nadu has pulled drug purchase and rationalized distribution in public health facilities where medicines are now available at no cost to patients. Sustainable public sector innovations like these are the real solution. Coverage won't cut it. Health care that is public and universal is possible in the global south. Health workers, activists, and citizens around the world are joining forces to make it happen. Health systems face all kinds of challenges, but the public path to universal health care holds the promise of comprehensive, integrated, and quality services based on primary health principles, more accountability and participation, improved equity, and greater solidarity. Will you be part of the change?